Welcome back to the Alabama Power Halftime Report presented by Alabama Power, always on. It's time now for our Bulldog Conversation. With that, here's Nathan Troost. I'm sitting with Christy Chandler. She is the chair of the Sanford University Family Studies Department. It's great to be here with you. Thank you. It's nice to be here with you. Family studies, a lot of confusion, I feel like, with people just whether, whether within Sanford or outside of Sanford. Can you explain to us a little bit about what students in family studies concentration study? Sure. Sure. Let me start with what is family studies, which seems to be the popular question mm -hmm. when students come looking for majors. And family studies is a degree that's focused on improving or impacting the lives of families okay. through education, service, and advocacy. And so when students graduate from our program, they are conditionally certified as family life educators, meaning they can go out in the community, educate uh, families for a whole host of issues um, related to parenting, raising children, taking care of elderly parents, mm -hmm. family economics, that sort of thing. What are some classes perhaps that some, I guess, maybe popular classes or classes that stand out within the curriculum? Right. The first class that most of our majors take is uh, Marriage and the Family, that's FAMS 202. Okay. And it's a great class and uh, throughout the years several people have taught it. It provides an overview of all of the different types of courses that will be taken throughout the major. It uh, is also very helpful for students personally, but the focus is on uh, training our students so that they can succeed in the following classes and help families later on. You mentioned sort of generally what they do when they come up, but what are maybe some more specific, concrete um, jobs that some of these students that you've seen go into the workforce doing? Right. I will say that most of our students, once they graduate from Samford, mm -hmm. will pursue graduate Okay. Uh, education afterwards, oftentimes in marriage and family or counseling of some sort. A few will go to seminary working with uh, youth. Okay. Um, some related to infant and child development also are, are children's education. But also in addition to marriage and family counseling, we have some students who actually get a family studies degree and then go on and get their um, graduate degree in speech therapy okay. or occupational therapy. Seems like an odd fit at first, but it is a great background if you're going into homes working with children, understanding uh, the family issues related to uh, those you know, the support of the child, that's extremely yeah. important. In addition to that, we have um, students who have gone and worked in social service agencies, okay. Girl Scouts, Impact Alabama, um, at just a whole host of social service agencies. One course I failed to mention when we were talking about mm -hmm. the courses was that there's also a practicum experience where students will work 125 hours oh, wow. in a social service agency um, in the Birmingham area. And not just uh, social service, but also government. I have one student who is interning with family court working with domestic violence issues as well. Well now you've been at Sanford for a while but more involved with family studies more recently I guess you could say. Right. What is perhaps your vision or your goal to see happen with family studies in the next year or two? What do you see on the horizon? Well I think probably my first goal would be um, to try to help eliminate some of the confusion about mm -hmm. what family studies is. In a perfect world my vision would be to eliminate the need for family studies altogether, meaning that we wouldn't have to go in and provide social mm -hmm. services to families, that we actually do focus on what the primary goal is for family studies, which is prevention education. Mm -hmm. If we could prevent the problems that families are having up front, there wouldn't be as much of a need later on to go in and do correction or put mm -hmm. band-aids on things. So. I would say long term that that's probably my mm -hmm. biggest ultimate goal is to work myself out of a job. <laughs> that's uh, what short, like. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Short term, I would say, uh, in addition to getting the name of family studies out there, mm -hmm. helping students understand what that means, um, I'm also really focusing right now on the advocacy aspect okay. of family studies. I think people understand the education part. I think people understand the service part, the advocacy part. I think that that's something that they're trying to uh, get a better understanding of. Mm -hmm. 
And so going out and working with domestic violence, uh, families, foster care, adoption situations, possibly even encouraging a few of our students to continue on with law school and practice family law as well. I think family studies would provide a great background for doing that. Excellent. Well, we're about out of time, but quickly, how can someone find more information about uh, family studies? Great. Uh, family studies is actually located in the School of Education here at Sanford. Okay. So if you go to uh, the family studies website, there's a variety of information, including a whole list of the types of jobs that you can go into upon graduation. Excellent. Well, and again, I am sitting with Chrissy Chandler. She is the chair of the Sanford Family Studies Department here, again, at Sanford University. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Bulldog Conversation on the Alabama Power Halftime Report. Back to the second half in just a moment. This is the Sanford Sports Network. <laughs>